good morning you guys i'm taking my morning coffee in this mug my sister just sent me um i don't know if you guys ever seen the movie white christmas but there's two sisters in there and they sing this song and it's like sisters sisters and we would just be like obsessed with that and she sent me this and it says sisters sisters there were never more devoted sisters i feel like james charles should have this cup <laughs> today i'm about to head out because um i have practically finished with all of my illustrations for my poetry book and so now i'm going to scan them at my school and put them in my indesign file and this is kind of the last final step um before my book is finished so i haven't tested scanning them yet um the reason why i'm going to school to do it is because you know they have a really nice um, high resolution scanner so I'm like well while I'm still at this you know school better take advantage of that um, so yeah hopefully that will go smoothly and I thought I'd take you guys along with me so let's go I just got home what a day what a day it was oh my gosh um so I ended up finishing scanning all of my images I'm really tired right now if you can't tell it's Friday it's been a week um yeah I, fin I finished scanning and um it might seem simple to just like scan an illustration but the thing is is like when you illustrate something on paper, it's not actually black and white. It's like nuances of gray. So in order to get it black and white so that it goes smoothly into your InDesign book, you have to make sure that when you scan it, it's scanned in like a certain black and white and not too dark, not too light. So I just had to play with that a lot. And um, I feel like I've been looking at the computer all day. I am making dinner. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. I'm very proud of myself because I'm not making my stupid bell peppers and, and the zucchini like every time I'm trying to broaden my palette. Um, and yeah, well, guess what happened? So, um, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but like a few vlogs ago, I have visited the nun's paradise. <laughs> the um com convent and um i had applied but i applied for only like two specific studios that were very bright and that i knew would be like perfect 
And I didn't end up getting it for those because there was like so many people that applied and I was like, that's fine, no big deal. And then today I got a message, um, I got a message from the girl that is like, the girl, I say girl because we're like the same age, but like the lady that is in charge and she was like, um, I have an opening um, and it's about the same size as the other ones that I was going for. She said it wasn't as bright, which is like a little bit, you know, but um, yeah, and she said that she thought of me. So I was like, oh, okay, May like, I don't know. I definitely believe in Destiny, so, and it's cheaper than the other studio was. So I'm like, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I will end up taking it. So she told me that I could come visit it because I really don't remember what that one looks like. And you know, that way I would just have a studio, Come on, dude. Who's calling me? Ugh. Hello? Who is this? Oh, hey! Oh my god, I was like, I, you know, I'm in the middle of filming a video and I'm filming this. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Hold on, let me put you on speaker. You want to say hi? Hi to what? Are you filming at the moment? Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm turning off the camera. And no one is respecting Google food. And so basically we could go to this party. And it's just like a, it's like a bit, you know, there's like a lot of, like I don't know how many people there are, but like it's a good friend of mine. But if we go, if we go to the party, if we go to the party, how will we get home after? We can either, we can stay there, either you can stay, you can sleep at my place, either we can sleep there, either we could take a Uber, we can take a bike back. I'm back, I was just talking to my friend Hida. Um, she's literally the sweetest and nicest person ever. Um, she was actually a subscriber to my channel and I met her randomly one day and um, she was like such a kind-hearted person and like so like had such a good energy we started hanging out and now she's one of my good friends so yeah she was t she's telling me about like this I don't know some underground party or something like that but um, yeah anyway <laughs> so I don't where did I leave off oh yeah um, so yeah um, I might possibly have an art studio now at the nun's place. Um, but yeah, I need to visit it to check it out to see if it actually works for me. Um, I just think it would be cool to have a place that's so close to where I live and I'd be able to walk there because like the last five years in art school, I've had, I never really said where I went to school before, like, um, very often i think people could find out if they wanted to but um now that i'm like at the end i'll just tell you guys like my school is a little bit outside of paris so like i take the train an hour which it just like adds up you know the thing that was so good about my school before was just like there would be so many parties and like it was just like such an eclectic group of people and now like since of covid and just like some changes in um the direction of the school it's just like, I don't know, It's I feel sad like when I see first year students and this is like the environment that they are getting compared to like what I had in first year. So I don't know, I don't wanna be negative about it, but I feel like I am ready for like a fresh start. So yeah, I'm excited that everything went well for my book today. I'm gonna eat some dinner with you guys. It's Friday, baby, which means we're gonna have a glass of wine. I try to only drink on like the weekends just because it does like make me all tired and I feel like when I drink in the week it just like makes me kind of sluggish but I feel like I've earned it I had such a week um so I had to present my memoir like my poetry book in front of a jury this week and I am the type of person like if I do a presentation I'm gonna prepare it like it's a TED talk Hey you guys, Shayna from the future here. I'm trying to edit this part where I tell this story and it's literally impossible because I don't know, I guess it was like the end of the day so I was really tired so I left out a lot of details and I honestly think I could just do a better job explaining the situation now. Um, so basically what happened is in fifth year, when you're a fifth year student, 
you have to present a book in order to have your diploma. And since I was already writing my poetry book, I was just going to present my poetry book, the one that I'm self-publishing, the one that I'm doing the illustrations for, etc., for the jury. And I talked to a lot of my teachers about it, and they all thought that it was a good idea. They thought it was cool. Even though it was in English, they were like, well, this is an international school, so no big deal if you want to present your memoir in English, that's cool. So like I said, I prepared like a motherfucker. Like I was like up all night, like because I had to give the presentation in French, I wanted it to be solid. So I was practicing in front of like little sheets of paper that I drew people out on because like, yeah, I was just like really practicing or whatever. And how it works is you walk in and you present your book in front of a jury. This year the jury was just one person, but on top of that there is a teacher from your school that sits in and is supposed to be a moral support. And this teacher a few times told me that she thinks I should. Um, she was actually the only teacher in the whole school that had a problem with the fact that my book was going to be in English and that I wasn't going to translate it into French. But I said like multiple times, like I'm not going to translate it into French because I'm not putting my book out into the world in French and also like it's a poetry book and the thought of translating it into French for me just felt so unnatural. So I wanted to present it as is. I talked to many teachers, none of them had a problem with it. So yeah, I presented it, my, I presented my book, my project in front of the jury, this lady I didn't know, and she seemed like she was really impressed, especially because like I'm doing this presentation in French and like wasn't reading off a paper. I was just like very confident in everything that I was talking about. And like I said, the other teacher is just supposed to be there as a moral support. However, at the end, she pulls a fucking wild card on me and zamboozles me because um, after I think like the presentation's done and like I did a really good job, I was like, good job, Shayna, like in French too, like awesome. She goes, I told you that you should translate it into French. And the and she was just like criticizing me for that. And then she also said like she didn't understand why I didn't write my school's name in the book. And I was like, I wrote this whole book by myself. Like, I'm just presenting my book um, as like an ex as like an extra thing for my memoir. But like this is like a project I did all on my own, you know. And um, honestly, like I felt like the the lady that was in the jury, she was like really uncomfortable with my teacher doing it because it was almost like very malicious the way that she said it. Yeah, I don't want to go on and on about this, but um, yeah, just to say that like it kind of ruined the experience for me because like I said, she was supposed to be there as a moral support. And after the jury made it clear that like she liked my presentation, I just really felt like that teacher was salty because she doesn't understand English and she didn't understand my book and she like tried to humiliate me and I've had experiences with French teachers like that where they try to like fucking humiliate you and like try to put you in a spot where like you look bad but I felt like I had like a really good um kind of comeback from that and I told her like I told her like why and I wasn't like I was just more annoyed than anything else but I just, I really can't stand when people try to, like, put you on the spot like that or try to make you look bad. Um, so, yeah, like I said, like, that was, like, kind of disappointing for me. And another reason why I, like I said, like, I just kind of want to distance myself from the school because there's just, there's a lot of cool teachers, but there's also a lot of people that are just, like, stuck in their ways and fuck that shit. Let me know if you guys can also relate to this like let me know what you guys are studying how you feel about it I mean, I don't regret going to that school because I met so many people and everything like that But it's just frustrating and that's why I just feel like ready to spread my wings and fly baby and maybe I'll I'll go hang out with the nuns. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner Okay, I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't, I haven't even paused in forever. Cheers. Cheers to Friday night. <laughs> That's so lame. Cheers to Friday night, you guys. Mm. 
Mmm. I love that. I always try to get like really thin spaghetti. I love like angel hair spaghetti. I'm eating at my desk because I'm using my table um, for my ceramics and my sculptures right now. This is why I need, I need to take that nun's studio. Um, I was wondering something. Do you guys believe in destiny? <laughs> Always with like these questions that you'd find on like a fortune cookie card. Because, like, that's the thing I was thinking about is, like, okay, so she calls me up randomly and she's, like, we have this other place and I thought of you. Um, and, like, there's a part of me that's, like, well, what's the chance that, like, after, you know, all those people applied and you thought that you didn't get it, that she calls again? And it kind of reminds me of, like, the first time in the summer. It was kind of, like, the same story, so... I don't know. I really believe in like following your intuition. So I'm definitely going to go check it out and visit it. But I want to hear from you guys. Like, have you guys ever experienced something where you're like, this is destiny or like, this is like, it has to be a sign. Or are you a lot more practical about that kind of stuff? I like to believe in it. I like to dabble in it. Mm. Every time I eat spaghetti, I think of the movie Lady and the Triumph. Red wine and spaghetti just go so well together. Mm. It's like bread and cheese. And I was so happy that I gifted myself that for my birthday, like the piano, because it's something that I wanted for a really long time. And I just thought like, oh, you know, I can't do music because I have all these other things going on. But it's like, bitch, you can. You can do anything you want to. If I wanted, tomorrow, I could decide that I wanted to be, like, a gymnast. <laughs> I was going to say gym champion, but, like, the only people that are stopping us is ourselves. And when I made, like, that video with, like, these voice notes the other day, um, those were, like, just so from my heart and just things that I was thinking about. And... Um, as I was listening to it back, I was like, this sounds like something that would be on, like, Cody Ko's that, That's Cringe. <laughs> but, um, that's just how I feel about it. Like, growing up, I would always just hide. One of my friend's parents one time said, um, Shayna, like, you shine so bright, but you don't want anybody to look at your light. And that's kind of how I was growing up, is, like, I was afraid that if I did all the things that I wanted to do, that it would offend people or they'd be jealous or like, I don't know, because I just, I would rather people have liked me in the past, not now. <laughs> in the past, like when I was in middle school and high school, I'd rather people have not like liked me and not been offended by me or, um, that I made other people feel comfortable than to do the things that I really wanted to do. And now that I'm like, you know, in my later 20s, I definitely realize that it's such a gift every day to be able to wake up and, and just live. Like, are you kidding me? Like, already, we're already winners. Because think of all of the spermazoids <laughs> as I'm eating my pasta. <laughs> all of the spermazoids that we beat out to get to the egg like we are the chosen ones i was thinking the other day like why i have the personality that i have and i think like when you have siblings a lot of it has to do with your siblings because especially like if you're the last child because think of it like you're born into an environment that's already there for you and you're just like exit you're like whoa like this is a family i was just born into this family there's other there's already another baby and like my older brother and they already have this like dynamic so you just kind of soak everything in and i feel like like the funny parts of my personality i get from my sister and like yeah i feel like it's a lot of times like that when you're the youngest is you get kind of the benefit of having not too much pressure on you you know do i have any younger sibs out there I think I kind of eat like a cave person because 
I'm just like protective over my food, so I like hunch over it and I'm just like, don't eat my food. I think I made too much. This is a lot. Oh, is this a mukbang? So it's Friday. I love Fridays because even though like I do work from home, there's just like this something that's very exciting about Friday. It's like anything's possible it's friday i mean not lately because of covid <laughs> unless i want to go to that underground party um yeah so tomorrow oh my god fucking sirens i love this apartment and i love the location but it's really close to a hospital so i always hear like sirens mm. last night it rained, oh my god, I'm preparing my mouth. Last night, it rained so hard on the window that I thought that the window was going to break. It, like, literally kept me up. Because the window in my apartment, it's not straight up. It's slanted. And so, when it rains, it's, like, beating against it instead of falling next to it. just thought that I would tell you guys that. Also, you guys want to know something like really crazy. Um, so before I started my YouTube channel, there was this one French YouTuber that I always watched because I just thought that her, like I just really liked her personality. She's very raw and vulnerable and she was just different than any other French YouTuber I ever watched. Like, I don't know if you guys know of the YouTuber Amelia Farts in English, how she has like this sort of, personage like she has like this character even if she says it's not like there is a part of it that is kind of a character um well this french youtuber it's the same like she has like this character that she has and through this character she's a lot she's able to explore a lot of themes that she might not have felt um comfortable exploring but just herself and i thought that was really cool like she's able to be a lot more vulnerable and that's what's really interesting i think that when you do create a character is it's, it's like when you're in sports and you put on a helmet once you put that helmet on like you feel like you can do anything like you're just like a lot more aggressive and act different and i think when you um become a character you allow yourself to explore a lot of things that in real life you wouldn't you'd be able to explore um but anyway so i was always really inspired by her and i i watched her to learn french and excuse me <laughs> i don't know maybe like a year or so ago we started following each other um and like leaving each other comments which was like super exciting for me but then the other day she messaged me and she said that she's working on a film project and she wanted to interview me for it and i was like oh my god i immediately called alex um even though like you know obviously we don't live together anymore i still call him from time to time when something exciting happens or whatever like we're still on good terms like i tell you guys often and i was like oh my god guess guess who i'm gonna actually get to meet watch her watch this and think it's so weird um so yeah i think that's happening like i said i was down to do it but um it's just so weird when you meet people that you look up to in real life or like that had a big impact on your life because there's no words that you could say to like let them know um how much you admire them because they can't understand like where you were at in that moment of your life so and if you guys are wondering who and i'm talking about her name is solange tepal i just butchered her name it's solange tepal which is solange is talking to you and i've talked about her before on my youtube channel but she's just a really inspiring artist. Mm. Um, I'm excited to meet her. Um, and also kind of nervous. Because like when you meet people that you look up to in real life. Or like. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to finish my pasta. I've got a lot to do. Again. I don't have internet. Um. But it's going to be fixed for like the long term. I got like an actual internet box and everything like that. But it takes a few weeks to install it. So I downloaded like a few movies. Not movies. Why am I lying? I downloaded a few YouTube videos. I watched. Like I downloaded hot ones to watch. 
and then I have to edit and I'm gonna be signing these and sending them out to my patrons and yeah okay I guess maybe I'll see you later or maybe this is the end I'm sure I'll say good night before I go to bed okay <laughs>